everyone. Today I'm doing a get ready with me New Year's Eve edition. So first I start with a fresh clean face with moisturizer on it. I'm going to go ahead and pull back my hair with one of my favorite headbands here. It's very cute and festive. Um, I always pull back my hair because I do have a lot of baby hairs that kind of spring up around my head and around my face. So I do that to kind of keep them out of the way. So now we're going to use a primer. This is the Hydro Primer from Ulta. I got this as a sample and I'm really loving it so far. So I just kind of put a little bit on my fingers and then put it all over my face. Next I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer and I just love this stuff. So I put it all over my eyes. It kind of keeps everything in its place all night long. So when you're partying all night on New Year's Eve, that's kind of what you're going to need. Next, I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. This is number seven. And I'm going to dot it all over my face. And if you watch my videos, you know that I've been using a color that was not correct for me. I finally went and got matched perfectly. So I love this color, love this foundation, and I'm using it all the time. So I just put it in dots all over my face. And then I use this uh, buffing brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to buff everything in all over my face. And next I'm going to use my Naked palette um, in the color Naked just to kind of put over my lid. It goes into my crease and all over my lid. It's just a nice base color to start off with since it's so close to my natural color. Next I take the color Buck and I put this into my crease and kind of along that outer V. It's a couple shades darker so it kind of highlights my eye a little bit better. Next, I'm going to take the color Half Baked. I love this. It's a shimmery gold kind of color, and I'm just going to put this on top of my lid, just kind of in the middle, not really towards the sides. But it just kind of opens up my eyes a little bit. Next, I'm going to take Smog. This is a very dark, shimmery color. This is really nice for outlining the eye. So I'm going to use the flat part of the brush that comes with um, the kit or with the palette, and I just kind of line go along the lash line and kind of do like a, a darker line so it just kind of gives it a smoky eye look. I'm just putting on a little bit more of the half baked just because I want it a little bit brighter. Next I'm going to take this angled eye br eyeshadow brush, angle eyeshadow brush, there we go. And I'm going to use this as my liner. So I'm going to take the Naked 2 palette. And I love the color on the end, Blackout, because it's a very dark black color. And I just kind of line my eye. I'm not doing any crazy cat eyes or anything this time. I kind of just want a very natural, smoky eye look for New Year's Eve. Now when you're using eyeshadow, sometimes you need to take a brush like this and just kind of clean up the edges um, when you're trying to do a small cat eye with powder because a powder can get a little messy sometimes. Next I'm going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush um, by Real Techniques and I'm going to go ahead and just blend. I literally just blend everything in and everything together so it kind of looks a little bit more natural and not so much like, oh there's a color and there's a color. <laughs> Next I'm going to take the color Booty Call in the Naked 2 palette and I love this color because it's a brighter color and I like to use it um, just kind of on underneath my eyebrows and brighten those up. Next I use the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil from Ulta and I just kind of clean up my brows first by just brushing them out because they're always a little crazy. And then I go in and I just fill in a little bit. I do have some bald spots that I'm trying to grow out in my eyebrows. I still want them to look very natural though, but I'm trying to grow them out and so I just fill them in the best I can. Just blending a little bit more. Now I use Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. This is an amazing product that I have bought um, several times now. And I put it underneath my eyes and it just kind of brightens up the eye area. 
since I work nights, sometimes you get bags and dark under eyes. So this is great for just brightening up underneath the eye and making me look fresh and awake. Next, I'm going to use Benefit's Dandelion Blush. This blush I use all the time. And it's a great everyday blush, but I love using it as a base when I want to put on a darker blush after. So here's the color Rose Gold by Sleek, and this is a nice, it's darker and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I do love wearing this one when I'm going out because it just kind of brightens up my cheekbones a little bit more. Next I'm going to use Hula. This is a bronzer and I love this color. It's a very natural color. Suck in those cheeks a little bit and then kind of draw my line. This is another Real Techniques brush. I do not know the name of it because it came in a kit and they don't put the names on all of them in the kit. So there's that blush and bronzer look. Next, I'm gonna take another sleek, it's a palette, it's a face contour kit. I'm gonna use just a highlighter, and I highlight the upper part of my cheekbones to just kind of give it a natural glow. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone. This is kind of just a nice pencil that's supposed to keep your lipstick you know, where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and when you wear bright reds, I love to use this because it just kind of keeps it from going all over your face. This is NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Mysterious Red. This is one of my favorite holiday and just kind of a very festive, anytime I'm going to an outing or an event or anything, I love to wear this color. It matches my face very well. Next is the Bare Minerals Lasting Line in Absolute Black. This is an eyeliner that I do love to reach for when I want to have a good smoky eye. So I'm just lining the bottom lash line and then I'll kind of go over the top part as well, the top of my lash line as well, into the middle. Next I have, this is a Tanya Burr Cosmetics uh, Glitter Liner. And I believe it says in treasured is the color. Um, it's very hard to read on a glitter bottle, so yeah. Next, I have another Tanya Burr. Um, this is the Eye Shimmer Pot. This is a champagne sparkle. Now, the liquid liner is still wet, so then I just pat on a little bit more glitter. I just wanted more of a sparkle um, than the liquid liner had in there. I'm using a note card to just kind of keep the glitter from going all over my face because if you work with loose glitter, you know it gets everywhere. Next, I'm going to use the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I love using this mascara to kind of separate all of my lashes. I think it does a really good job with just separating out my lashes and making them look fuller. Then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and put it over that. Perversion, I absolutely love to make my lashes look thicker and it always kind of makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes. Everybody asks me if I'm wearing falsies and I'm not. So I absolutely love Perversion for that reason. Next is the True Match Lumi. This is a liquid highlighter that I'm just going to put a small dab on and I'm just going to put it on to the tops of my cheekbones. I just wanted to add a little bit more of a highlight there. Last but not least, I take this blush brush by Real Techniques and I just kind of blend everything on my face afterwards so that it just looks natural and you know you can't see there's any lines or anything like that and I'm gonna take out my hairband, and there you have it. This is my New Year's Eve look this year. I'm really excited about it, and I can't wait to party and see you guys in 2017. Bye.